Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and today we are going to talk all about whey. If you have ever made any of your homemade cheeses or even yogurt, you are probably surprised by how much whey is left over after you make yogurt or cheese. It takes just a little bit of amount of milk to make those yogurts and cheeses, but you have all of this whey left over. Don't throw it down the drain. Wait. The first thing I'm going to do with the whey is pour it into a mason jar and put it in the fridge so that I can use it another day because I am not ready to use it today. Before we jump into some of the things that you can do with your leftover whey, let's talk about what whey is. So whey is the cloudy yellowish liquid that is left over after your milk has curdled. It can either be a sweet or it can kind of be acidic based off of how you curdled your milk. This whey is full of proteins, vitamins, and enzymes that you don't want to waste. If you wanna know more about whey and acidic whey and sweet whey, head on over to our website. I have a complete article there for you that will explain everything for you in detail and give you some more information about whey. But right now we are gonna jump into all of the things or at least some things that you can do with your leftover whey. So the first thing that you can use whey for is you can use it as a substitute when you are baking. So if you have a recipe that calls for water, instead of water, you can use whey. We really like using whey when I make our pancakes or waffles, because it can also be substituted for milk. So that is a really easy way to add some extra protein into your waffles or pancakes. The next one is not something we have tried yet, but I know it is on Jamie's agenda for this summer. You can use whey to ferment some of those vegetables that you ferment. So the cabbages, the carrots, whey can be used to ferment those as well. If you are making cheeses or yogurts on a regular basis and you have a lot, a lot of whey, you can also freeze it. Now, a couple notes about freezing whey in glass jars. If you are gonna freeze in any glass jar, this isn't, if it's whey or if it's not whey, you want a jar that is straight. You don't want the hip. If you have a hip on the jar, you are more likely to have your jar break. So you can freeze whey. I just suggest it in the freezer safe jars. Most companies label them as freezer safe, but if you aren't sure or if it's not labeled, it doesn't have this hip right here. And then it's freezer safe. So if you have lots of leftover whey and you don't have things to do with it right now, consider freezing it for later. And to make sure that you mark it because it does look like lemonade and you don't want anybody to get it confused with lemonade. One of our favorite ways to use whey besides the pancakes and the waffles is to use it when I am boiling pasta. So I will add water to the pot and then I will add a substantial amount of whey to the water as well and boil our pasta with the whey. It gives it some little more extra enzymes and minerals and a little bit more protein. So that's a great way to use your whey. You can also use whey when you are making soups or even like chili or really anything that you're cooking on the stove, anything really hearty that calls for water. Whey is a great substitute. I don't just use whey. I normally will do half whey, half water. And if you are wondering, whey does not change the flavor. We have not found that whey changes the flavor. It just gives it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more nutritional value. Another way that you can use your leftover whey is you can actually water your plants with it. But a caution with this is you need to dilute it and you need to dilute it a lot, a lot, a lot because whey can burn your plants. We have experienced that firsthand. So if you are going to use whey to water your plants, make sure that you dilute it with a lot of water. And if none of these things sound appetizing for you for using your leftover whey, there is always feeding it to your animals. Pigs love whey, chickens will love whey. It should not go to waste. 
If you liked all of these ideas for whey or if you have tried any of them, comment below and let us know how you use whey in your home. And if you want to know more about using whey, head on over to our website. I have linked it below for you and there are tons of resources there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you follow along, subscribe and follow along so you can follow along on our homesteading adventures and we will talk to you guys soon.